this is Craig Mavitt from Escape the Fate, and you're watching Rockin' Live. Um, well, our band has always tried to be a little diverse when it comes to our music because we like writing so many different kinds of styles. So we don't want to be that band where from track one to the last track, you're like, um, it sounded like the same same song the whole time. So we like to be very diverse. But, you know, when I talk about this album, I like to compare it to the first album we did with me as the vocalist, which is This War Is Ours, except this one's This War Is Ours after puberty is what I like to say. It's a little, it coincides, it flows a little better, so even though some songs are a little more melodic than the last one, it still has the same type of feel to it. So, you know, I'm really happy. I feel like it's, it's a step in the right direction of where we want to go and who we want to be. year and a half maybe, something like that. Uh, we finished an entire album with John Fellman, who did our This War Is Ours album, and we loved working with him. I loved the guy to death. And uh, when we got some of the last mixes back of some of the last songs, we just weren't satisfied with the song itself overall. So from that point on, we, we made the decision to just scratch, scratch those songs. The record's not done, we're not finished yet. Flew to this producer, flew to that producer, at the end of the day decided, why are we paying people for their opinion? Let's just do what we want to do. Went in the studio ourselves, hired a mixer and engineer, got our friend Brandon to come in and kick my ass on the vocals because if I'm in the vocal booth, I have to have somebody out there going, no, do it again, you suck. Do it again. Do it again, you can do better. Because if I don't have that, I'm just very, like, I'll do it, and the guys will the guys will go, Craig, what'd you think about that? I thought it was good. What'd you guys think? Uh, it was good. Should we move on? I don't know. So I like having somebody there that's like, no, do it again, do it again, do it again. So I went in the studio, and uh, now, you know, now we have Ungrateful. I mean, the, the title track didn't even exist before we went back in the studio. So I'm glad that we did, because some of my favorite songs on the album are, are songs we did with the second batch. Well, when I was out, I was out in Ohio recording um, music for you know my my side project called Dead Rabbits, and uh, I really liked how me and Caleb were working together. I really liked how Caleb did stuff, so I convinced Monty to fly out there. I said, why don't we, you know, we were in the process of figuring out what we were going to do. I said, why don't we fly out here and see how it goes with Caleb? And uh, he came out. Monty had this song on him. Um, you know, Caleb came up with a, this fucking hook of a chorus, and I was like, yeah we definitely got to do this song. Um, so when we started reworking the song and reworking some of the lyrics, John Feldman had somebody out there, um, his name is Itch, and he's like, hey, I really like, you know, all these lyrics that Itch wrote down. You know, you should use it in a song somewhere. I said, okay. So I take a look at his lyrics, and I'm like, I like this line and that line and this line. I wrote some melodies. I added some lines. So it's like three, four different dudes that wrote this song, and for some reason it just all flows together beautifully. And that's one of my favorite songs that's on the record. I like the overall feel of it. I like the sound of it. I like the melodies. I like what it's about. I, I like it. Um, it was going to be a completely different song, but at the end of the day, and you know, we've always kind of released the heavier song from our record first, just because, you know, our, our fans like some of the heavier stuff. Um, but mainly because this song hits you in the face right from the beginning. So not only is it the title track, not only is it the very first song on the record, you know, you're going to put in our CD, bam, you know, it just punches you in the face, and that's what we wanted to do because we've been on like this hiatus. We've been gone for a while. We just wanted to show people, hey, we're still here. We're still a band. Here's our new album. I try. I try to take care of it, especially when I'm on the road. I've always got a few hauls in my pocket. I, uh, I make this special drink that I heard somebody made before, but I make it my own way. 
So what I do is I take gummy bears and I put them in hot water. I let the gummy bears melt. And then I put in a throat coat, add some lemon, a little bit of whiskey, stir that all up, and I, I sip on that. And that, uh, that really helps. Because the glycerin from the gummy bears, if your throat's feeling kind of like holy, you know how it feels like there's holes in your throat when you got a sore throat? The glycerin from the gummy bears kind of coats that and uh, kind of gets you through the performance. Have, we have the music that we wrote with him. Um, we just never, I don't know, we've just gotten so caught up with uh, this song and that song and, and, and let's finish the record. And on top of just choosing songs and pulling each other's hair out, trying to figure out an album listing, I mean, I mean, our band has gone through member changes since the very beginning and there's just been turmoil constantly. And, you know, our minds have just been so so busy in other places that, you know, we just haven't gone back and revisited that, but we definitely have plans to. Yeah, we're definitely gonna do it though. It's there, we're gonna do it. Um, it's probably definitely gonna be the next record, I know that for a fact, but you know, my band changes their minds so much. It gets so frustrating sometimes. We'll do a song, and we'll be like, I'm, oh man, I love this track. And then a week later, no, we're not going to use it. No, I don't like it. You guys just loved it last week. Nope. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> so, I mean, you just got to gotta find a stable, you know, level ground to uh, get on the same page sometimes. And sometimes that means you got to let songs go. I like to call it the Escape the Fate Vault. We probably have like two albums worth of songs that nobody's ever heard that I still rock out to sometimes. I'm like, man, I should release this song. I like it. But nope, maybe one day. I think it definitely was some inspiration in the beginning. Not only because the rest of the guys were from Vegas, but because the media and, and, and management at the time and everybody, you know, it was these Las Vegas bad boy rockers, you know what I mean? So it's like, all right, you know, we got to live up to those expectations. But uh, I don't know. I don't, think, I don't think it matters to us anymore. I just think we know who we are now. And um, if people want to label us a certain way, go for it. But we're not going to care. You know, we know who we are and we are who we are. And that's all we care about. Yeah, we're coming in uh, June, actually. I don't know the exact date yet, but we're coming over here for a download in Rock'em Ring, Rock'em Park. And uh, we're doing a bunch of dates with Papa Roach, so we're just waiting for those to get booked so that we know when we're going to be available. And plus, we were talking to uh, Oliver, and he was saying that Hellfest comes, so we got to make sure, you know, because a lot of people are out of town for Hellfest, and I, I, I want to be out of town for Hellfest. I really want to go see that show, but I can't. I'm going to be busy on my own. You see some, you miss some. Something to say to my French friends. Um, I love my French fans. I think our French fans are some of the best ones in the world. I'd have to say right up there with France is uh, South America and Australia. Those three places have shown us nothing but support. Every single time we play here, the energy is up and they're just so grateful, no pun intended, grateful for us to be there. And um, I can't wait to play, to play again here. It's been a long time coming. We stay on the street